It's Mr. Walt. I'm DJ Evil D. We're representing the Beat Miners. Mm-hmm. And we're crate digging. The first time someone sees our collection, they're like, damn, y'all got a lot of records. During the Hot 97 years, me and Walt, we broke a lot of records. We broke Bone Thugs, Goody Mob, Outkast. We broke Mob D, Master P, and we broke a lot of records. Oh, man. We're part of the last Mohicans of the radio shows that was breaking records and there was no politics. Our motto was just give us the record, give us the damn record. I slept on a couple of records. I slept on Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See. We broke that too, right? What? Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See. Yeah, we broke that too. Busta played it for us in the studio. And I was like, I don't know about this record. And Busta was like, E, you crazy. You're crazy, E, you're crazy. After I played it, I called him. I said, yo, my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Beat Models collectively have like three floors full of records. The way this is organized is not. You got hip hop and R&B over there. Hip hop, there's hip hop over here. There's hip hop over there. There's hip hop over there. These are R&B. House music is over here. There's layers. The layers behind those like underground hip hop records. Um, sample stuff here. Like numbers in the thousands, I, I can't even tell you. But like three floors full of records. We got a lot of records. This one we used to both work in record stores. New edition. This, this is the second album they made. I got a whole bunch of these over here. I stole this record from my job when I used to work at Music Factory, Jamaica Queens. I stole it. <laughs> That's right. Look, I got like three, all three copies. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go up here. Young Jeezy, so survivor, how the hell? <laughs> here's, here's the Jizz's first record ever. Look at that, she don't belong here. This is Wu-Tang, look. So if you listen to the record labels, he's taking shots at Coachella. He takes shots at all labels. I'm gonna show you something in here that everybody wants, but you can't get. This right here, Into the Stage Instrumentals. Only 100 of these are made. And 90 of them are still in this basement, and they're not going nowhere. Is that Oh, enough? okay, here's something. Uh, Al Green 12 inch of love and happiness. You can't, you, you're not finding this, and it's in 3D too. 3D, 3D, 3D. <laughs> it's stupid, yo. This is music Eric Sermon. This is where he got the, the Marvin Gaye singer from. Everybody was like, I'll give you $100 for this, I'll give you $1,000. I paid $6.99 for it. What happened was I was doing a party at this club out here called the APT. I threw this record on, threw on the acapella. Eric Sermon was in the club. Came to the booth, looked at the record spinning around, looked at me and said, I don't even have that. I sampled my record off, of, I sampled mine off a cassette. For all y'all who don't know what an acetate is, an acetate basically is a reference record, which they'll have a record pressed on one side and the other side will be just the blank plate. The acetate, Jamaicans call him a dub play. We knew Mel Smith before he got in the industry. He was a guy that was around here. And Mel Smith came up, this when I was on Hot 97. Mel Smith came up to Hot 97, gave me two acetates. He's like, yo, this record right here, you're the first one to play this. It's a gift. I look at it, Notorious B.I.G., who shot you? Acetate. The record collection is a large, large record collection. But this record right here is the one that started it all. This is the ex exact That's the actual record, too. Actual record. When we were younger, we marked the record up. Our needle broke, so we didn't know anything about replacing a needle. So we take a bobby pin and put it in the head of the arm of the turntable. And it would play the record, but it would the vinyl hour, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This record came out in 1969. I was born in 68, so he wasn't even born yet when I this record here. came out. My father brought this record home, and it was the start of, of our record collection. 